What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Killer Cam Frank coming back at you with another Mad 24 banger. And today we had a patch that completely killed the whole defensive side of the ball. It is impossible to get pressure. I won't say impossible, but it's very hard to get pressure. Offense is super dominant in this year's Madden. I would say more so even than Madden 22 when Escape Artist was super, super glitched and it was really, really easy to score almost every single drive. And people started chewing clock at the end of the quarters. Uh, so what we're going to go over today is how to stop corner routes, which is going to be the main thing that people are going to throw against zone coverage. We're going to show you guys how to bait people into throwing interceptions on corner routes, which is going to be huge, and it's going to get you a ton of stops in this year's game. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. All right, boys, so we're here in practice mode, and what we're going to be going over today is how to stop corner routes specifically. I know a lot of people are struggling on the defensive side of the ball after this patch. Um, basically, they nerf every single blitz that works in Madden. Um, except for Dollar, and what they did to Dollar is they made run defense basically so bad that you can barely run it if you don't know what you're doing. Um, you can only run it on like third and fourth and long, which is beyond me. But they made it to where you can't audible down from 3-3 three, three to 3-3-5 three, three, wide anymore, or 3-3 three, three cub as they call it now. Um, they took the nickel triple blitz out. Every single blitz that worked literally in Madden is completely nerfed, <clears throat> which is... Really frustrating because this was already an offensive Madden and that made defense even worse. So, um, obviously offense is going to be really good. And we're starting to get more abilities on the offensive side of the ball. So people are going to run a lot of combos like this uh, where they're just going to kill you with corner routes. We can go ahead and uh, on defense we can baseline, move this guy over. You know, that's what a lot of people will do. Uh, that way he played the sideline a little bit better. But this flood combo is still going to kill any kind of defense like this. Obviously, we can throw to either sideline, both corner routes wide open, and that's an easy 20, 30 yards. So I'm going to show you guys how to combat this. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we can come out in either a cover two or a cover four. Um, I really recommend that you come out in a cover four. And I'll show you guys why here in a second. But... I just like how cover four plays a little bit better. Uh, so we're going to do the same thing. Uh, we can come out in really any play. We're going to go ahead and come out and level stay all this time. And what we're going to do on defense, we're going to set our zone drops. So we're going to set our zone drops to actually 30 for flats and 5 for curl flats. A lot of people are running 25. I think 30 is a little bit better post-patch, and I'll show you guys exactly why. Uh, corner routes are getting over 25-yard flats a little bit better now. Um, so defensively, we're going to come out in either a Tampa 2 or a cover 4. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to walk you through step-by-step step exactly how you do this. So we're going to put both of our outside corners into flats. So we're going to do that, which just takes one second. Um, and how we do this is we're going to double tap triangle. We're going to hit whichever icon we want to put into a flat, which is going to be square and circle. And we're going to hit left on the left stick as soon as we click that icon. And we're going to do the same thing with circle. Then we're going to manually back them up, which is triangle uh, X. If you're on PlayStation, hey, if you're on Xbox, then whatever receiver icon that DB is over. That's how you're going to back them up. And right here, uh, we're going to go ahead and back this guy up too. And what backing them up is going to do is basically make it um, to where they play back a little bit farther by default, which is going to help a ton a ton on this and you guys will see exactly why um, if, even if you can back them up even more if you want to manually if you have time get them into a better position uh, they're supposed to be playing 30 yards down the field so they're going to cover the sideline really well you guys saw exactly um, how we set up the last play I'll set it up exactly the same and now you guys are going to notice that um, these corner routes are going to get played a lot better here so we're going to go ahead and snap this ball and if we try to throw that, our DB obviously was nowhere where he needed to be. But I'll show you guys on the left side of the field um, just real quick. I actually like to put a deep half over the top right here too. Um, but these corner routes are going to be way more covered. Way, way more covered. If you try to throw that, you're going to throw right into that um, defender. And that's going to be an easy, easy interception. And that's going to be something that they think they can throw every single time. 
Uh, they see you're in a cover four shell, so they're going to attack the sidelines with those corner routes. And when you put a flat out there and back them up, uh, that's going to play it perfectly, and you should get a lot of interceptions like that. So that is one way to play corner routes, um, and that is probably the best way to play corner routes. But another really good way to play corner routes are to man them up from the um, linebacker position. From the linebacker position, that is really, really important. So um, these corner routes manned up from the linebacker position, shaded down is how we're going to defend these corner routes. Um, and they're going to play them way better than if we just don't shade them at all. So we want to make sure that we blitz our user. And we'll set up the same thing right here. Double corner routes. We know where the corner route's coming from, so we can shade our coverage down. And we're going to go ahead and snap the ball, and you guys will just see how they play. And they're all over those corner routes. Now, the one on the right might have been able to throw it, but when they're shaded down like that, it's going to be a sketchy throw. You want to make sure you shade outside, too. So we're going to go ahead and show you guys that one more time. Shaded down and outside. Down, outside. If you guys don't know how to individually man up, um, basically you're gonna double tap whichever icon or double tap right on the right bumper and that's gonna bring up your linebacker icons and whoever you want to man them up to basically we're gonna hit um, square and then up on the right stick and then whichever icon we want to man them up to which is gonna be circle and X and we're gonna go ahead and um, from there we're gonna hit triangle we're gonna shade underneath and then we're gonna shade outside and that's gonna be super important right here and uh, these should play really really well against this for some reason when you man them up from the slot it just doesn't work as well um, but you guys are going to see right here especially against like bunch formations this works even better uh, but trips formations should be completely fine so we're going to go ahead and snap the ball right here and you guys will see exactly how this plays and they play just perfectly look how that plays that is completely covered no way you can throw it whatsoever that down and outside shaded underneath man coverage from the linebacker position plays corner routes really really well so these are the main two ways that you want to use to lock down corner routes in this year's game i know you're going to struggle a lot on the defensive side of the ball until some more meta blitzes come out after this patch i am working on that right now um, i should be having a defensive ebook come out hopefully either later today or tomorrow um, but for now, I want to show you guys how to defend the best route in the game because these are going to get spammed repeatedly since pass rush is so bad right now. But as always, it's your boy Killer Cam Friend. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.